Here is an exam style question on parametric differentiation, tangent, and Cartesian equation. Figure 1 shows the curve C with parametric equations x equal 3 sin q theta, y equal 1 plus cos 2 theta, where theta is more than or equal to minus pi over 2 but less than or equal to pi over 2. Part A show that dy of dx is equal to k cosec theta, theta is not equal to 0 where k is a constant to be found. Please pause the video, have a go at part A and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So my x parametric is x equal, I can rewrite this as 3 sine theta in bracket cubed. I need to work out dx over d theta, so I need to differentiate x with respect to theta using the chain rule. Bring down the power, 3 times 3 is 9, subtract 1 from the power, you get 2, multiplied by the differential of sine theta, which is cos theta. So I've got dx over d theta is equal to 9 cos theta sine squared theta. My y parametric is y equal 1 plus cos 2 theta. I need to work out dy over d theta. So I need to differentiate y with respect to theta. The first term differentiates to 0. Cos 2 theta differentiates to minus 2 sine 2 theta. Now I'm going to apply parametric differentiation. Okay, so parametric differentiation. To work out the gradient function dy over dx, I simply do dy over d theta divided by dx over d theta. Okay, so I've got dy over d theta is minus 2 sine 2 theta divided by dx over d theta. 9 cos theta sine squared theta. Now I know that sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. So I can put 2 sine theta cos theta into the numerator. I get minus 2 multiplied by 2 sine theta cos theta, which is minus 4 sine theta cos theta. All over 9 cos theta sine squared theta. So the cos theta cancels out. This sine theta will cancel one of the sine theta in the denominator. And I've got minus 4 over 9 sine theta. I can split this into minus 4 over 9 multiplied by 1 over sine theta. Nice. Juice. Solid. Okay, so I've got minus 4 over 9 multiplied by 1 over sine theta, which is precisely cosec theta. So, my dy over dx is equal to minus 4 over 9 cosec theta, which is in this particular form, where k is equal to minus 4 over 9. This completes part A of the exam style question. Moving on to part B of the exam style question. The point P lies on C where theta is equal to pi over 6. Find the equation of the tangent to C at P, giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equal to 0, where A, B and C are integers. Please pause the video, have a go at part B and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. So we are told that at P, on the curve C, theta is equal to pi over 6. To work out the gradient of the tangent to the curve C at the point P, we need to substitute theta equal pi over 6 into the gradient function. Okay, so we need to work out dy over dx when theta is equal to pi over 6. So this would be minus 4 over 9 cosec of pi over 6. Okay, so we can write this into our calculator as minus 4 over 9 sine pi over 6. If I put this into my calculator, I get minus 8 over 9. So the gradient of the tangent to the curve C at the point P, M is equal to minus 8 over 9. Now I need to work out the coordinates of P. To work out the coordinate of P, I need to substitute theta equal pi over 6 into the x parametric and the y parametric. Okay, so when theta is equal pi over 6, x is equal 3 sine pi over 6 cubed. This gives me 3 over 8. y is equal to 
uh, 1 plus cos 2 times pi over 6. This gives me 3 over 2. So the coordinate of P is 3 over 8 and 3 over 2. So this is my x1 and this is my y1. Now I can simply apply y minus y1 equal m x minus x1 to work out the equation of the tangent to the curve C at the point P. Substitute the values in. So I've got y minus 3 over 2 equal minus 8 over 9 x minus 3 over 8. I can multiply the entire equation by 9. So this will give me 9y minus 27 over 2 is equal to minus 8 lots of x minus 3 over 8. Expand the bracket. Minus 8x plus 3. And multiply everything by 2. So I've got 18y minus 27 is equal to minus 16x plus 6. Take everything to the left hand side. 16x plus 18y minus 33 is equal to 0. That there is the equation of the tangent to the curve C at the point P. Okay, so we can state the constants A, B and C. A is equal to 16, B is equal to 18 and C is equal to minus 33. This completes part B of the exam style question. Moving on to the final part of the exam style question, which is part C. Show that C has Cartesian equation 8x squared equal 9 lots of 2 minus y to the power 3. Please pause the video, have a go at part C and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part C. So the x parametric is x equal 3 sine cubed theta. The y parametric is y equal 1 plus cos 2 theta. Now cos 2 theta has three representations. The first one is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. The second one is 2 cos squared theta minus 1. And the third one is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Now in the x parametric, I'm going to make sine theta the subject. So the representation that I want to use for cos 2 theta will be 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Okay, so let's have a look at the x parametric. I've got x over 3 is equal to sine cubed theta. Cube root of x over 3 is equal to sine theta. The left hand side you can rewrite it as x over 3 raised to the power a third equal sine theta. Okay, so let's call this equation 1. For the y parametric, I'm going to write y equal 1 plus, replace the cos 2 theta with 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Simplify this. So y is equal to 2 minus 2 sine squared theta. Let's call this equation 2. Right, so now I'm going to substitute 1 into 2. So I've got y equal 2 minus 2 lots of x over 3 raised to the power a third squared. I can multiply the inside and outside powers. So I've got y equal 2 minus 2 lots of x over 3 raised to the power 2 over 3. If I go back to my desired form, I need a 2 minus y. So I'm going to have to take this term to the left hand side and that y term to the right hand side. So if I do this, I get 2 lots of x over 3 raised to the power 2 over 3 is equal to 2 minus y. Nice. Juice. Okay. Uh, in my desired form, I've got 2 minus y to the power 3. So I need to raise power 3 on both sides. So if I raise this to the power 3, 2 to the power 3 becomes 8. And then this one over here raised to the power 3. You take 3 and you multiply by 2 over 3, laws of indices. So that term becomes x over 3 raised to the power 2 thirds times 3 will just be 2. Equal to 2 minus y to the power 3. Juice. Juice. Okay. So I can square this top and bottom. I get 8 multiplied by x squared over 9 is equal to 2 minus y to the power 3. Then I can multiply the entire equation by 9 and if I do this I get 8x squared is equal to 9 lots of 2 minus y to the power 3 as required. 
This completes part C of the exam style your question and this teaching video. If you found it useful, I repeat, if you found it useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.